Hi, my name is Kem Vong and I lead Municipal Partnerships at Magnet. The unemployment rate in Canada is currently 7%, but when you look at youth, that rate nearly triples. One in five youth are unemployed. 20% of youth are without a job. I know some people who uh, graduated in engineering or uh, informational technology, but they end up in F&B and retail. They have irregular hours, uh, tiring jobs, and so they can't develop the skills required to go to the next level. They get stuck in this black hole of retail uh, where they don't have the money to get uh, additional training. They don't have the time to get additional training. They're already like, $20,000 in debt. I feel like there are job opportunities out there, but they're never enough. Going from something theoretical and in classroom work, to something very practical is often a challenge to kind of convey to employers of the value that you'll bring to the position. You have to take the courses that make you into a valuable employee. And that's, you know, a sad state of affairs. And it takes away from the intrinsic value of university. I think that the greatest struggle, specific to unemployment, isn't just in finding a job, but it's in finding a job that helps students to build experience and careers that they want to pursue. Um, because anything that you want to apply for, especially if you're approaching graduation or just after graduation, they're demanding a lot of experience already. And you're fresh out, you're entering the workforce, and you don't have any of that. For newcomer youth, that is those who are new to Canada in the last five years, the rate is actually 24%. So if you look at the people behind me, one in four of them would be without a job if they were newcomer youth. What happened? What will happen if when the April comes? So I think it's getting a permanent full-time job is something like a dream for us, like a new grass. What we are doing to solve unemployment is clearly not working. Something needs to change. We need a new road forward. If I could sit down with policymakers, ministers, politicians in power, I would tell them that the challenges that people are facing today are not the challenges that people faced 20 years ago, 30 years ago. It's young adults who have pursued their, their goals or identified their passions for employment for whatever their profession wants to be. And they've gone through extensive and expensive education to do so, and yet they have to settle for low-skilled employment that barely pays their bills or barely settles for their student loans. We need to be teaching young students what to expect in university and what to expect outside of university and broaden their horizons on their options of what they could do. Because a lot of kids these days, they're told that if you don't go to university, you're not gonna get a good job. So rather than you know, trying to um, create um, you know, graduates who are ready for a job, how do you create graduates who create their own jobs, right? And how do we find um, you know, positions or jobs that never existed before? because realistically, that's where the jobs will come from. Teaching these students more about soft skills and helping them acquire that, because I feel like we learn a lot in class, but companies are looking for soft skills that us as students aren't taught as much as we should be. Um, businesses need to connect with the universities in order to acquire the students that they're training. If the training is not connected uh, to the employment that's actually available in that field, then you're gonna have a disconnect. The challenge is real. These old problems require new solutions, but all hope is not lost. Let's focus on the road ahead.